Hey, you right there. Don't make me use this. Hey, hey, get down, man. Right there. All the way down. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing great today. We're going to be doing an official Mirror Park Police Patrol, guys, and we got some really cool uniforms right here. This is from the Emergency Uniform Pack. We got an official Mirror Park actual add-on police vehicle pack here, and it's by Big G069. It has three vehicles inside of it, and I'll show you the vehicles real fast. This is a Chevy Capri. We have a Charger, and check this out. We have a Jeep right here. Now, we haven't ridden out with a Jeep, I don't think, uh, before in the channel, if I'm not mistaken. So this uh, particular delivery right here is fantastic. I like anything that is different. And this right here is really cool. So we got a Mirror Park Police Patrol for you guys, and I hope you enjoy this. Now, before we get started, we do have a actual police partner, and we need to get us a police partner name. So let's see, what is his name gonna be, guys? Let's see here. And the winner is Officer Basic. Very cool. So his name is going to be Officer Basic. If you would like to be my next police partner or a deputy or, you know, like say a sheriff deputy or agent, detective, who knows what we're going to do in the future. All we have to do, guys, is comment down below so my comment generator will pick you up. And uh, we'd really appreciate if you liked the video. And if you uh, are new to the channel, feel like subscribing, please do so. All right, let's go ahead and get started, guys, out on patrol. We're going to get out to Mirror Park. It's a little suburb section, suburb section of, you know, Los Santos. All right, let's get in here. Now, these, this particular vehicle, the cool thing is it's got some steady burns. You can see that in the in the front. So the steady burns will remain like that uh, continuously, which I think is pretty cool, something a little bit different. A lot of police agencies, especially in the cities, will actually do that. They'll actually have some steady burn action going on, especially like in LA, for example. And then this is gonna be stage one. We got some traffic advisors that got to move them from the right to the left. And then we have some still steady burns in the front. Here is stage two. Pretty nice. And then here's stage three right there. So the lighting pattern on this is really on point. Fantastic. Big G did a great job. Uh, here's the inside of the vehicle real fast. Hands are not quite in the wheel. This happens sometimes when you do Z Modeler, uh, you know, for GTA 5 anyway. The, the hands sometimes are not quite on the wheel and you have to adjust a lot of things. And uh, but I really do love the lighting system in here as far as the lighting uh, setup as far as not being too bright. Uh, cool police partner, and then we have a cool partition right there. Let's go ahead and get started dispatch here, guys. Sam 81. This is dispatch. Dispatch, show me an officer basic going to be 1041 tonight. I don't know if she's going to pick that up. No, I didn't think so. <laughs> dispatch, show me 1041 tonight. Okay, there she, she got it that time. You, you would think, you know, after using, gr you know, grammar police that you can't say show me and you can't say that. If you said ten, show me 1041 tonight, she would have understood that. Uh, we're going to make a left right here. We're going to get out to Mirror Park and let's get out there into the suburbs. Okay, guys, we're out here in Mirror Park and we're going to be on Mirror Park Drive right now. And oh, look at there. First customer of the day right there. He's blocking a fire hydrant. Okay. So we're going to use our traffic advisories here real fast. This kind of radio dispatch here. Sam 81. This is dispatch. Dispatch speed advisor. We're going to be at East Mirror Drive. Uh, me and Officer Basic. I'm going to be writing a parking citation. We're going to probably need a 51 in just a moment. Stand by for 28. 10 4, copy that. Okay, so we do have a vehicle blocking the fire hydrant here. This is something really basic. Uh -huh. Get it? Officer? Basic? Okay. Dispatch requesting 28. It's going to be a four-door uh, uh, sedan here. It's going to be six, uh, black in color, by the way. Uh, six, five, X-ray, George, Tom, 110. It's a Glenda. Target vehicle license plate. Six, five, X-ray, George, Tom, 110. Target is 10-4. Okay, 10 4 as in um, not wanted or anything like that. So, what we can do, let's do a parking uh, violation here as well. So, we're going to do the uh, my parking and basic parking enforcement, which is pretty cool. So, let's go ahead and pull that up real fast. All right, so let's see, let's do this. Uh, we can actually look at the parking offense history, which is pretty cool. 
So he's been, this is quite a few tickets. Look at this, look at this one. Oh, that's a big one. Let's see what this one's for. Uh, this one was issued uh, in, in the future. No, I'm kidding. Uh, no, this is 2021, my bad. <laughs> oh man, I can't get the fact that it's 2022 already. So he's he's blocking emergency vehicles, $105 ticket, double parking, and then handicap space, $500 ticket. That, those are some past parking tickets. So we're gonna create a ticket. Uh, we're gonna do prohibited zone. I do believe, no, I'm sorry. Uh, yes, yeah, prohibited zone It is a, uh, let's see, no, it's not under that, my bad, blocking. And it should be uh, blocking a fire hydrant, but it's not under that. What is it under? Vi oh, violation of distances, that's right. And it's gonna be right here, parked within a, a 15 foot of a fire hydrant. We'll hit him with that. Um, and technically this is a prohibited zone. This is a fire lane. So we'll hit him with that one as well. <laughs> we'll hit him with both of those. And we're going to submit this and we're going to write a parking citation. Then we're going to ha have him towed away. And then we'll bring in our awesome flatbed, which is pretty cool. I really love the flatbed that we have here. And then, uh, the flatbed is up by officer Turbs who works a lot with big G, which is kind of cool, right? Same 81. Dispatch requesting a 51 is going to be for a black four-door Glendale. Uh, lights plate number 65, X-ray George Tom 110. He's uh, blocking the hydrant out here in East Murray Drive. Okay, fly bed time. All right. Hey, Officer Basic, back over here. Okay, we're going to get a flatbed coming. He's coming. Here it comes, guys. We're going to leave our... Yeah, our traffic advisor is on so we can pick this up and this is an awesome flatbed and I actually did a demo for that of that particular flatbed right there there it goes I did a demo for that if you guys want to see the actually I'll probably link the uh, video for that for that particular flatbed there's a demo for that uh, pretty cool flatbed I must say it's probably one of the better flatbeds I've ever seen pretty awesome right okay Let's get back out there on patrol here. Dispatch, show me uh, code 4 to 8. Okay, let's go. Oh, wait, it, it didn't say it. Dispatch, show me 10 8. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, usually I do code 4 to 8. I'll say code 4 to 8 a lot on my 5M server. And so I, I typically do that a lot, actually. So let's go ahead and continue with our patrol and let's see what else we can get into here, guys. Okay, still patrolling out here in Mirror Park. We're gonna head down this way. Oh, we got a burglary. Nice. Dispatch responding code three. Okay, see so a person has been seen looking through windows. Caller states that he's now picking locked doors. Nice. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's cut through here, and then I uh, think... Okay, let's do this. Let's cut our lights, because I don't want him to warn him that we're here. So let's creep in here, guys. Uh, a lot of officers have been known to respond code 3, and they cut their lights, because uh, they want to try to sneak up on the actual suspect. So we're going to sneak in here. We're going to pull in about right here. We're going to let dispatch know that we're on scene here. Dispatch show me 23 in the area of West Mary Drive, Nicole Avenue. 10 4, copy. And required. Negative. Uh, me and Officer Basic got this. Uh, we're going to be in West Mary Drive, Nicole Avenue. We're going to be code 6 in the area. 10 4. Back over here, Officer Basic. Okay, let's uh, turn it. Let's whip out our flashlights here. You got your flashlight? Okay, you got Hey, I'm going to go back this way. We're trying to locate a possible burglary suspect here, guys. He's out here picking locks. Okay, this house looks good. Let's go around the sides. Talk to this neighbor over here. 
You see anything suspicious, both of y'all? Anything out here? No? Okay. We're still looking for the uh, possible suspect out here. Now, Officer Basic uh, may stay over there. That's okay. He's questioning them. Anything back here? This is kind of legit. Uh, a little bit scary here because I don't know what, what to expect here. Oh, right there. Hey. Hey, you right there. Don't make me use this. Hey, hey, get down, man. Right there. All the way down. Go away. Dispatch, be advised. We have uh, one possible suspect at gunpoint. It's going to be uh, near Westmore Drive. It's going to be a BMA, a light blue shirt, khaki pants. Stay right there. Do not move, all right? Do not move. Got him covered there, Officer Basic. Nice. Okay, what are you doing out here? Ten four, copy that. Code four. No further units required. Okay, we are. Looks like we're code four, but I do want to question him. Is it possible to question him real fast? Yeah, I'm pressing my Y key. I don't. I don't think I can question him. I think it's one of these things that you can get a call like this, and then you just kind of see. You know, you just kind of take over the arrest, things like that. All right, bud. What's your name? Derek Ma Mays. I dispatched requesting 27 for a Derek Mays, 125-2003. Okay, Mr. Mays. All right, a couple of questions, okay? All right. So, anything uh, illegal on you should know about? He goes, nope. Even if there was, you ain't going to find it. All right, so what am I going to find if I search you? I... Uh, Maybe pack of smokes, maybe a brick of coke. Search to find out. A brick of coke? What? Where you got that stored at, man? All right, turn around. Let me patch down. Actually, you know what? I meant to have Officer Basic do this. I'll have him do this. We'll see if he finds the same thing that I do. Just a few tablets or something. Let's see. Let's see how the rookie do this, guys. Hey, can you pat him down, Officer Basic? Sometimes I like to take control and, you know, sergeants and things should let rookies do that. How'd you find it? Okay, good. Okay, so just a few tablets in a plastic container. Interesting. Okay. All right. Hey, follow me back over here, okay? Back over here. Hey, officer, basically, just uh, stay around the rear area. Basic format. Okay, you know, I'm kind of thinking he might actually try to run from me. Let me try to grab him real fast. Those lights look pretty nice. I think someone's on a traffic stop. Oh, man, I don't... Oh, he's got in trouble. He's in trouble. All right, let's get uh, PT in here, prisoner of transport. And I would really like to know why he's doing that. So I think I can ask him a couple more questions here. All right, stay right there, bud. And let's see if we can ask him a couple more questions here, chat. I'm saying chat, chat as if we're doing a live stream here. Uh, general questions. Okay, why'd you do that? I guess the fuck does matter. <laughs> All right. Okay, so I think that's about it. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is the guy. He, he had the, like, if you want to call it a lockpick, it looked like to me he was breaking in with, uh, like, a crowbar into people's homes is what he was doing. So that's going to be burglary is what he's going he's gonna to be charged with. I would like to see what the tablets are, too. We found some tablets on him. Uh, let's see if we can do maybe a narcotics field test. Uh, we'll do this. We'll just pop this trunk here. And here's a few tablets. Um... It's real common out here in Mirror Park for Molly's. Uh, so let's go ahead and check for that. See if it's going to be Molly's. Okay, no, it's not Molly's. Um, okay, uh, maybe LSD possibly. Jeep Laredo. Uh, PCP? Come on, man. Gotta find it. Okay, last but not least, it's going to be fentanyl. Of course it's going to be fentanyl, right? Fentanyl, that's what it is. I wish I had my gloves on. 
You know, because that's that's a serious thing right there. I wish I could. Uh, I know there's a mod out there you can you can do a menu system, I think, and switch to different gloves and things. But uh, I'm not sure what it's called anymore. I'm not sure if it even works anymore. But I, I really wish you could do like on 5M where you could put gloves on before you do a test like that. Because I'm handling fentanyl with my bare hands. And that can lead to an overdose, believe it or not. Alright bud, so listen up. You do have the right to remain silent, okay? Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford that attorney, one will be appointed to your free of charge for the state of San Andreas. You have the right to have your lawyer present anytime during questioning, okay? All right, do you understand your rights as I read them to you? Okay, good. Are right, you going to be charged with uh, a uh, for burglary and then also uh, possession of uh, fentanyl as well, okay? Dispatch to Sam in B1. Report. Dispatch, I'm okay. Uh, you can cancel checks. 10 4, copy. Dispatch, we have one in custody. Uh, gonna be West Mirror Drive, Nicole Avenue. We have 115, guys. So. Attention, all units. Suspect apprehended. Sam, AD1 is transport required. Affirmative. Uh, we're going to be Westmore Drive, 2103 Nickel Avenue. It's going to be a BMA, uh, light blue shirt, khaki pants. I'm doing some charges now. We're going to have PT pick him up. Here's your transport. Alright, come on in. And let's look up and see what kind of charges we can do for him, guys. Uh, he's going to be picked up here. Uh, let's do an arrest report. It's going to be under, right here, under robbery. Yeah, right there. Robbery, theft. Uh, we're going to say... Burglary. Um, it's going to be burglary residential right there. Now, it may be attempted. I'm going to be honest with you, okay? We're going to say attempted burglary residential because he hadn't quite broken into it yet. They said that he was using like a lock pick. So we're going to say attempted burglary just to be honest with you because he hadn't broken into the house yet. So we're going to go ahead and do that one. And then the narcotics, it's going to be a schedule a two for fentanyl. We hit him with both of those charges. There we go. And we'll see what his charges are at the end of today's video. Dispatch, show me 10-8. Uh, We're going to be code for this call. Okay, let's get back out there. That guy just ran a stop sign. I think I'm going to pull him over. Oh. Okay, that's right outside Mirror Park. Dispatch responding code 2. Okay, we have a customer refusing to leave. Uh, that's another vehicle behind me, another police agent or police uh, vehicle behind me. It's got someone lit up. So we have a customer refusing to leave. We're responding code two. Uh, code two is still without lights and sirens. It's going to be more of a you know just try to get over there a little bit, a little bit faster than code one. Uh, they're going to be over here. I do believe at this liquor store. And so we're going to get through this light, and then uh, we'll head on over there. Uh, he's going to be at Ace Liquor. Now, if they have shots fired or something like that, obviously we'd step it up to code three, but we're going to get through this light and wait for this traffic to pass here. Okay, I do believe it's going to be at this liquor store over to the right. And uh, we're going to leave our lights off, actually. We're going to park kind of in the fire lane. We're going to go like this. That way, uh, traffic can flow around us here. Just about show me 23 in the area of Rob's Liquor Store. Negative. I mean, I was basically going to handle uh, this scene at Rob's Liquor. Okay, Officer Basic, come on. Okay, how's it going, guys? Hey, Officer Basic, and uh, my name is Officer Benzo. So what's going on? What you got? He goes, hey, Officer, uh, the guy over there will not leave. Okay. All right, has he done anything wrong? Uh, yeah, he's stolen from us before and is banned from coming back. Okay, did you have him trespassed? Alright, you want me to ask him to leave? He goes, he get, 
I asked him, do you want, have you asked him to leave? He goes, several times. Okay. Uh, I'll get him out. He goes, thanks. All right, let's have a talk with this guy. Hey, sir. I guess the officer basically can stay outside. <laughs> That's fine. Hey, sir. Hey. Excuse me, sir. Hey, can I talk to you for a sec? Yeah, sure. I uh, done something wrong. Uh, clerk tells me you're banned from coming to the store. I uh, know I've stolen from here before, but, uh, I mean, uh, but I'm a different person now. And maybe so, but you're still banned from here, okay? But I don't want to steal anymore. Uh, the store wants you to leave, okay? You'll have to leave. Attention. Fine, I'll go. All right. Uh, what, go to the back? I don't think so. Hey. Hey. You. Hey. What are you doing? Okay, first of all, hey, get out here. Come on. Step up. Get out. Come on. Okay, you look drunk, too. Here, come on out. Hey, keep an eye on him, Officer Basic. <laughs> Looks like he's not quite right. <laughs> Over here. Okay, uh, hey, sir. Okay, like I said, it's uh, gonna be Officer Benzo, okay? Uh, it's Officer Basic over there. Alright, get your ID on you. Let's see some ID, huh? Can I have some money? It's for crack. Ken Rosenberg. Dispatch crossing 27 for a Ken Rosenberg, 11264. No Alright. <laughs> this guy's over there. <laughs> okay, seems to be okay. Uh, you know, I really don't have any right to technically search him. Okay. But, so what we're going to do is, uh, l he checked out in the database. He doesn't have any kind of warrants or anything like that. However, he is uh, going to be formally trespassed. I wonder if there's a charge I can do or a, like a warning type of thing. So I'm going to leave him here. I'm going to get back in my car. I'm going to see what kind of charges that I could do for him. Uh, let me see. See if there's anything in the database real fast. Uh, it's gonna be a warning, real fast. Uh, it's gonna be general public offenses. Uh, let's see here. Uh, we could say you're loitering. Uh, we could say that. That'd be a, a, it, it's just an official warning. But is there anything else uh, on here? Th these are all just moving violations here. Uh, here's a. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I think this is all going to be something else. Uh, I'm using uh, a uh, a new plugin right here uh, that gives you some extra charges and stuff like that. I'll be sure to link it down below, Gus. Uh, this is a pretty cool thing right here. Uh, these are just documents. What is documents? Uh, let's see. What is this going to be under here? Uh, I think most of these are not going to really pertain to him. I think just general uh, public offenses right here. And we're just going to say, this is going to be a warning. And we're just going to say, loitering. Uh, I kind of wish trespassing was on here. Like, he needs to like leave the area and not come back type of thing. Uh, we could say, okay, so loitering and we'll say failure to disperse. Because he wouldn't leave, you know, technically. When the guy asked him several times to leave. Uh, technically, we didn't see that happen. But it's still a warning, regardless. So we're going to go down here. We're just going to go ahead and submit this real fast. Uh, oh man, I forgot to add a little note. That's okay. You can actually add a note in there too. Trespassed from Rob's Liquor. Alright, sir, listen up. Okay. Alright, so you are formally trespassed from here, okay? Alright, you're going to be getting a couple of warnings right here. Okay. There you go. So, you're not to come back here again, okay? Not to come back. Uh, the uh, Rob... The, you know, the, the owner of Rob's Liquor. Rob, he doesn't want you to come back. All right, so don't come back again, all right? All right, we'll leave, just leave on foot. Um, hopefully you can get home, okay? Do you need a ride? You do? How about an Uber? You got an Uber? Okay, we're going to get you an Uber. We're going to pay for that. It's going to be on the uh, Mirror Park Police Department tab, okay? All right, I don't feel safe with him just, you know, walking home. So we do have an Uber coming for him. Okay, Uber's coming. They'll be here in a second. I want you to hop in this car and I want you to go home, okay? And like I said, the tab is on Mirror Park Police. Okay, here they come. There he is. Have a good day, sir. Don't come back. 
right, let's get out of here. Okay, this is uh, still Mirror Park, and this is the residential areas. They're still building real fast. Uh, we're going to go 10-7 real fast. I'm going to show you the court system as well. Dispatch, show me 10-7. Uh, we're going to be 1042 for the night. Roger, Sam, AB1. All right, that way we don't, we don't get disturbed. And then what we're going to do is we're going to pull up the court system real fast. We're going to see what Derek Mays... Uh, my bad, court system right there, Derek Mays. Okay, so here he is right here, guys. He was the one for possession of fentanyl and attempted burglary residential. So it's going to be attempted on that. I don't think he'll get much time on that. He'll get more time for fentanyl possession. They take that pretty serious out of here in Los Santos. So I'm going to say at least two years on that. Um, why don't we just go for, say, three years for a possession of fentanyl and attempted burglary. We'll see what this looks like. And four years. Oh, that's pretty close, though, right, guys? Uh, three years. Look at that. Uh, three years in fentanyl uh, possession. And attempted burglary. He got one year on that. That's surprising, to be honest with you. Okay, so he got fined $1,062 and then four years in prison, uh, three years for fentanyl, and then one year for burglary. Very nice, very nice. Okay, guys, we're going to go ahead and uh, exit the video right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate all the patrons. I really do, patrons. You guys are awesome. And the funny thing is, uh, the patrons are actually watching the video production of this particular video right now. So they're doing, they're watching the behind the scenes action guys uh, on the YouTube channel. So they're watching this post production and seeing how I do things. So thank you so much to the patrons. You guys are awesome. And thank you so much to the YouTube members. I could not do this channel without you. You guys are freaking awesome as well. And I really do appreciate the help. You guys mean the world to me. You guys have a great day. We'll see you in the next patrol. Stay safe.